so today we are going to see the how to calculate the bearing capacity of the soil by unconfined compressive test equipment okay so the, this is the experimental setup to calculate the strength capacity of the soil for undisturbed sam sample okay for construction of embankments so here you can see this uh, um, apparatus okay so this is the experimental setup having a loading capacity of 2 tons with constant rate of movement and the least count of the probing ring is uh, 0.002 mm and this is the dial, dial gauge, gauge reading which is having 0.01 mm least count so Pro this ring is the probing reading. ring which is having the least count of 0.002 mm So here uh, we need to take the cylindrical specimen of size, uh, soil sample of size, Unconfined 75 mm testing or mission. 7.5 cm length of the cylindrical specimen. So first we have to prepare the test specimen which may be either undisturbed, remolded or compacted. Samples. So undisturbed specimens can be cut from a large soil block or obtained through a sampling tube. Okay. Through which specimen can be extruded to a split mold using a, a sample extruder. And while using, uh, trim the two ends of the soil specimen, remove it from the mold and measure the length and diameter of the weight. Place the specimen on the bottom plate of the compression machine and adjust the upper plate to make contact with the specimen. Release the vertical displacement gauge and probing ring, ring gauge to zero. So select an axial strain rate between 0.5% to 2% per minute and apply compression load. Now we have to adjust the probing ring uh, to zero reading by using this uh, screw. Yeah. Yes. And next we have to adjust the dial gauge. Okay, we have to record the load and displacement readings for 50 divisions of displacement gauge at every 15 seconds. We have to note down it on the dial gauge for every 15 seconds. And next, apply the axial load at a strain of about 0.5 to 2% per minute and continue the load till the sample fails or the deformation reaches 20% of axial strain. So after failure of the soil sample, cylindrical sample, now take small sample of the soil from the failure gene for the determination of water content. Now take the readings of probing reading at every 50 seconds the dial gauge readings and probing readings so like this we have to take the trials 50. and this is the cheapest and uh, simpler method of determining the soil shear testing method one of the cheap, fastest and cheapest method to determine the shear strength of the soil for undisturbed soil sample so the unconfined compression test is an appropriate 100. method for determining the shear strength of the dry soil sands or complete clays because the materials would fall apart without some land of lateral confinement. So here the, we assume that no pore water is lost from the sample during setup or during the shearing process. A saturated sample will thus remain saturated during the test with no change in sample volume, water content or void ratio. So the sample is held together by an effective confining stress resulting from negative pore water pressures. Pressures are not measured in an unconfined compressive strength consequently because the effective stress is unknown. Hence the undrained shear strength measured in an unconfined test is expressed in terms of the total stresses. So here, while conducting the experiment, we have to take the precautions. Both the ends of the sample are shaped so that it should sit properly on the bottom plate of the loading frame. And second one, rate of loading of the sample should be constant while applying the load. So after taking the readings from the dial gauge and probing ring readings, we need to note down the observation and tabulations. So initial data that is going to be available, that is diameter in terms of centimeter, length of this uh, specimen that is in terms of centimeter area that is in terms of centimeter square and after that we should know the initial bulk density that is in terms of gram per centimeter cube 
an initial water content that is in terms of percentage so last by the readings we need to plot a graph of compressive stress versus as ordinate and axial strain as abscissa to calculate after that we get the result average compressive strain such angle of internal friction under cohesive strain from that we can conclude the unconfined compressive strength of the undisturbed soil sample in terms of kg per centimeter square and shear strength of the soil sample convert the dial dial readings to the appropriate vertical deformation and compressive load units by multiplying with respect to least cons of dial gauge as 0.002 mm and uh, reading as 0.002 mm and dial gauge as 0.01 mm okay calculate vertical strain from a corrected cross section area and then compressive strength of the soil sample and next we need to plot the stress strain curve and show unconfined compressive strain as the peak stress or the stress at 20% of strain next we need to draw a mohr circle using q u and determine undrained shear strain su undrained cohesion cu that is q by 2 at last we need to compute the water content in terms of percentage at last from the readings we need to calculate the results that is average unconfined compressive stress in terms of kg per centimeter square angle of internal friction undrained cohesive strength in terms of kg per centimeter square from the results we are going to calculate the unconfined compressive strength in terms of in terms of kg per centimeter square and shear strength of the soil sample for this validation purpose we take minimum 3 samples should be tested correlation can be made between unconfined strength and field spt value that is capital n practically up to 6% strain in the readings may be taken at every min every 30 every minute that is in 30 seconds thank you